Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we're going shopping for something. What are we going shopping for, Marco? That's right. Today we are buying pants, and、uh, we're going to try to see if we find a good pair of jeans. Yeah, sometimes pants are too small, sometimes they're too big. Let's try and find the right pair today. Excuse me, can I try on this pair of jeans? Sure, let me see. I'm afraid we don't have any size eights left. What are you talking about? I'm always a size four. Here, I'll try these. <coughs> They seem a bit too tight. Shall I find you a larger size? No, they fit fine. They show off my curves perfectly. Yeah, your love handles. <coughs> they sure do. Although, here, you forgot to close this button. Yeah, right. I'll do it now. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at some vocab on language takeaway. Language takeaway. All right, so today on language takeaway, the first phrase we have is actually a verbal phrase. This is what we do when we go to find some clothes. We try on those clothes. That's right. So that is a, as you said, a verbal phrase. And to try on a pair of pants or to try on some clothes is to put them on and see if、uh, they are okay, if they're、uh, the right size. That's right. So if I'm in the store and I see a shirt that I really like, I go to the dressing room to try it on.、Mm-hmm. Or you could say, oh my gosh, Marco, come here. This shirt is great. You should try it on. That's right. So you try it on or you try on. Something. All right. So, as we said, we wanted to try on a pair of jeans. So, let's take a look at this connection of words pair of jeans. All right. So, you don't have a jeans, you have a pair of them. And this is because you have not one, but two legs. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. pair means two of something. That's right. So, it doesn't mean that you have two pants, right? It doesn't mean that you have two pieces of clothing. It means that you have one. Piece of clothing that's a pair of jeans. That's right. So you have one part for one leg and one part for another leg. The same is true of glasses because, you know, glasses are for your two eyes. That's right. So you have a pair of glasses. That's right. A pair of glasses, a pair of shoes. Also.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So we are trying on these、uh, pair of jeans, but they seem to be a bit too tight. All right, so tight is a word we use when something is too small. It's hard to move if something is too tight.、Mm-hmm. So maybe if the,、uh, if the pants are too small, they might be too tight. Yeah, and,、uh, and we often say this, especially to girls.、Uh, my mom used to say this oh, no, you're not wearing that skirt. It's too tight.、Uh-huh. You, can see your, you can see your body underneath. Uh huh, okay. So actually, the opposite would be loose if something's too big. Too big. If it's too big, it's loose. If it's too small, it's tight. Okay. Now, if it's not too big and not too small, then that means. It fits. It fits, that's right. So I could say, I think I want to buy this pair of jeans. It fits very well.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if the pants or the pair of jeans fit, it means they are okay for you. They're not too big, not too small. They're comfortable. Comfortable. And in this case, she said that they fit perfectly because they show off her curves. Now, what is she talking about? Uh, my curves? Well, a curve is something that's not straight. It Bends,、mm-hmm. but when we're talking about a, a person's curves, we're talking about maybe a woman's hips、mm-hmm. or her behind,、uh-huh. her rear end, or her chest.、Uh-huh. And so,、um, women who have curves maybe are rounder, not flat. Uh huh. Okay. So it's something that you usually you would use with、uh, girls, right? That,、uh, you know, a girl has nice curves. You wouldn't really say that for a guy, I think. No, guys, you don't really talk about curves. <laughs>、um, but with girls, usually you can see someone's curves if she wears tight clothes. Okay. Very good. So why don't we take a break? Let's review all this vocab and we'll be back in a bit with Fluency Builder.
Excuse me, can I try on this pair of jeans? Sure, let me see. I'm afraid we don't have any size eights left. What are you talking about? I'm always a size four. Here, I'll try these. They seem a bit too tight. Shall I find you a larger size? No, they fit fine. They show off my curves perfectly. Yeah, your love handles. <coughs> they sure do. Although, here, you forgot to close this button. Yeah, right. I'll do it now. Uh. All right, now it's time for three phrases. Let's take a look at those on Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right, so we heard this phrase here, I'm afraid, and it means something maybe different from what you've heard before. So the shopkeeper said, I'm afraid we don't have any size eights left. That's right. So uh, when you start a sentence like this, you're basically apologizing a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like saying, I'm sorry, I don't think we have size eights left. Mm -hmm. So maybe I go into the store and I say, well, mm, I would like some chocolate milk, please. And I say, I'm sorry, I'm afraid we ran out of chocolate milk. I'm afraid we ran out. So this means it's too bad or unfortunately, we don't have any. That's right. So it's not the same being afraid like you're being you're scared <gasps> no it's not that afraid it's it's a polite way for usually a, a, a shopkeeper mm -hmm. to say i'm sorry we can't help you okay so going back to curves the girl used this uh, interesting phrasal verb there to show off all right so we know the word to show mm -hmm. um, but to show something off to show off means to display or exhibit it's almost like you're you want other people to look at you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so if um, I guess maybe you can see it on the street if someone is in their car and they're playing loud music kind of drawing attention to their car they're kind of showing off their car they want you to see their car or just hear how great sound system they have that's right or some women will wear very very short skirts because they want to show off their long legs that's right all right but now something that you don't really want to show off uh, are your love handles. All right. Now, this is a very funny phrase. It's uh, it's actually something we say in spoken English that mm -hmm. if you say it to someone else, might be very rude. Uh -huh. uh, love handles are the part of your body above your waist that if you have a little fat, mm -hmm. uh, it's like... It's like they're squishy. You can touch them. Right. So just think about um, how maybe people that are a little bit overweight, they put on a pair of pants and on their sides, in their waist, the extra skin that kind of is around the pants, that's, uh, that's called love handles. And we say love handles because when someone hu hugs you or they want to hold you, that's where they put their hands. There's extra to hold on to. Right. I think uh, sometimes they're even called, they may be called uh, like tires or something like this. Well, spare tire is in the front. It's uh -huh. near your belly. Uh -huh. All right. So that's called a spare tire. That's right. So uh, spare tire is in the front. It's a belly. Normally when people drink a lot of beer, uh, very often they have a spare tire. Uh, but this is actually, love handles are on the sides. Um, mm -hmm. But that's our last word today. Let's, let's remember that it's not something you want to go around telling people they have, but you can joke with your friends about right. it. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's listen to the dialogue one last time. Excuse me, can I try on this pair of jeans? Sure, let me see. I'm afraid we don't have any size eights left. What are you talking about? I'm always a size four. Here, I'll try these. <coughs> they seem a bit too tight. Shall I find you a larger size? No, they fit fine. They show off my curves perfectly. Yeah, your love handles. <coughs> they sure do. Although, here, you forgot to close this button. Yeah, right. I'll do it now. Mm. 
All right. So speaking about pants, uh, I've noticed something that uh, the girl asked for a size four, but she really was a size eight. So how does this work? Because as guys, we don't have size fours, five or ones or anything. We like you buy a pair of jeans, you say size 32 in the waist and size 30 in length or something like this. So that's right. Um, men's clothes usually uh, indicate the the size of your waist. So uh-huh. 32 is a 32 inch waist. Aha. Uh-huh. But women's clothes don't have those measurements. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes think it would be better if we did, because it's very hard. Some stores have size four, which is one size. But if you go to another store, it's very different. So you Mm -hmm. always have to try on these clothes. Mm -hmm. Um, But normally in America, the sizes go from zero, which is the very, very smallest, Mm -hmm. to 14 or 16, which is the largest. Okay. A normal size for most women would be an eight. I think an eight or a ten. And now, obviously, this depends on the uh, the countries uh, because, like, for example, being in Asia, in China, the women are usually a little bit thinner or smaller. Mm-hmm. So um, it's harder, I think, for uh, it's harder to actually have this universal form of uh, of measurements for for girls. That's right. So um, in the back of your pants, for example, there'll usually be some fabric, and it will say the size according to different countries. Uh, so yes. um, in America, size 6. In China, size, I don't know, 28. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they'll have the different numbers. And right. UK is also a different right, size. Right, right. Kind of like your shoes. If you look inside your shoe, it'll say, I think, a, a, a Japanese a size, the UK size, which is like 41, 42, and the USA size, which is like size 8 or size 9. Size 8, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, so, yeah, it's very, very interesting, especially when you're buying clothes. You have to remember what size you are and you have to ask the person to let you try it on because some things I know you can try on, right? That's right. Uh, and in some stores, you have to ask for help to take things off the racks. So it can be very difficult. But normally, if you say, hey, can I try this on, the, sh- the shopkeeper will help you. Okay. Great stuff. And of course, if you have any questions or you want to comment on this lesson or any of our lessons, you can find us at EnglishPod.com. We hope to see you all there. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.